how I'm becoming a video addict lately. Sitting down here right now in the man cave, which I've actually added an extension onto. I now no longer have to store all my stuff on one table. I've now got all of my vehicles, well, most of them, sitting up on old computer desk and two little legs tied onto my existing chair, but that's not the reason why I brought this camera out. I'm going to show you guys, number one, how these duels are put together, and I'm going to show you about tire profiling, and while we're at it, look, laptop, can't stay away from it. Uh, there's my name. Most of you know me already as uh, Mr. Mopar for Life, and of course Medic knows me on YouTube, on here, and on Facebook. You guys, uh... I do a lot of uh, posts RC-wise on uh, Facebook, but I'm going to show you number one how these tires, after I jam my finger all up in the shot, I'm going to show you how these tires come apart. These ones are a little bit easier than the other ones because I didn't have matching screws. So all we are going to need da -da 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 is a good screwdriver. It's kind of sad when you organize things and uh, yeah that's another thing I gotta show you guys too before I even profile the tires. All my stuff now has been uh, put into tackle boxes but back to this, need to bust out a screwdriver here. Basically with these ones it's a Phillips head bolt inside of here. So all I really need to do is get on the head here and start loosening the bolt, which of course has a nut on the back side. Slide that one off. Repeat process with this one in here. Once again, hold finger on it to keep it from coming loose. finally decides it wants to break free. I now separate my tires. And you have your two studs. Just wrench them back out. And then you look at this oversized hole that's drilled here. Why is that hole drilled? Well, that's so you can fit your ratchet. Oh man, this is gonna have so many that's what she said on it, but this is where your ratchet goes in so you can actually get into your other size tire. But, if you look at this one, it's got stock tread on it. This tire has been modified. I've cut every other alternate lug out of it, which helps it clean so much. I think this time on the backs, I'm going to leave the centers and I'm just going to cut the outside lugging off on every other one. Now, all you do with that, it's very simple. Medic's done a video on it. Uh, matter of fact, a lot of people have done them. But what you want to do, focus, focus, focus. You always want to keep your, well, it's up to preference, but you just take this little piece right here, get it squished down, and pop it right off. Cut it as close to fly, uh, flush as you can. Uh, it's very easy Focus. The There's no light. Sure See, there we go. Your you're going to go around on every other one of these lugs here. And just pop them right off. You already see the tire is going to take shape. Simple, but time consuming, and you end up with a pile of little rubber pieces when you're done. But it's going to pay off in the long run, especially having dual profiled uh, tires on the back. Of course, I'm anal, I always put one. I think I'm just going to cheat. If this, as long as this one doesn't have any holes in the tire, I'm just going to use that as one of my tires, the inner one. 
and then uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit because I've already got a set of uh, profiled tires done, so I only have to do two of them until Wednesday when all the other parts arrive, but everything is all simple. Yeah, I've got another uh, SCX-10 chassis in here that I've been uh, debating on. I've got a set of stock axial beadlocks with uh, IMAX Swamp Dogs that I've also profiled. These things tear the hell out of some mud. Um, what else am I doing? Pretty much just jamming out to the radio, looking at the forum, and uh, profiling some tires. Fun stuff. True, it's a cheap shot. But uh, your tire profiling is totally up to your own choice of what you want is to your tread design. Personally, I like taking every other lug out and giving it that staggered look because it looks really clean when you stick them up next to each other and they've got just slightly modified, completely modified. This will actually rip. But I think I'm going to leave these center treads in. I'm just going to stagger cut my lugs. So every other one is going to be cut out. But other than that, not really doing too Yeah, look, I've even got a profiled spare on here. That's how, uh, that's how anal I am about these things. I'll even run, even on my other body I got here. Spare honcho body. That one actually has a scale non non cut one. I gotta, gotta work on that one. We got that body in there, and then we also got a whole box full of parts underneath. But what do you guys think about the new cleaned up working quarters? Of course, there we go. Tilt this sideways so you guys can see it. A little throwback from the military days there. Could have that, and then. Of course, the stars and stripes, not that you can really see it that well, but most importantly, that flag right there. All right, I'm glad that uh, me and uh, Meta could uh, shed a little light on the uh, dually idea and uh, finally beat you to the chase on a video, Medic. I got you on that one. I'm glad though that you got some useful information out of it and it's everything that you thought it was gonna be. But trust me, bro, when you get that thing out on the trails, it is going to be freaking sweet. All right, this is uh, Mr. Mopar for Life on YouTube, Crawler for Life on RC Sparks Forum. That's rcsparks.com, rather. Excuse me. And uh, I think that's pretty much the only places I really hang out between that and Facebook. But a lot of you uh, will probably find me on... Uh, Medic's Facebook if you're on it. I'm going to go back to enjoying my Long Island Ice Tea, profiling his tires, and checking out the forum while I'm doing all this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video too.